hate Mondays. Why? Because we gotta get a new episode made. Oh yeah, we are flat broke. <sighs> you got any ideas? Well, in the generic YouTube scheme of things, a ghost episode always does well. Oh no, we're not stooping to that level, are we? Hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. Eh, we may as well do a crossover while we're at it. We need some views. Eh, fair enough. May as well write the boss about it. Wait a second. Aren't the commenters gonna wonder where the heck you've been since you've had absolutely no part in episodes one through three? <laughs> Shh. It's called retrospect. They'll never see a thing. Right. Now, who made you director of this thing? Since technically I have seniority from being in this mess longer. Creative mind speaks to the wind. Okay, what coal were you smoking? Because I want some of it, and I'm going to need it after you're done with this. I'll tell you later. We're off camera. All right, CR casting call. Take one. And roll them. Why is there a cook machine next to you? Hey, a man gets thirsty on the job. What can I say? All righty, let's see who we've recruited for this mess. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Will. What's up? Wait, why are you playing to this? You're already in the episode, bro. Uh, I just needed to ask a question. All right, what you got? Where do you want me to put that obviously placed string of cars so it's not interfering with any possible obvious collisions or stuff we usually pull? Throw it in the siding for all I care. Fair enough. All right, I finally got a starting point. Let's get this crap started. First up, Mr. Herbert. Hey there, boys. I played a ghost, all right. Sneaking over. Okay, that's enough. Someone get him out of here, please. And thank you. Where do you find these guys at? I advertise on Craigslist. It's obviously safe. Oh, the irony of that statement. Ugh. Okay, next up on the line, we have... No, Ben, you're obviously painted white. Oi, I'm trying to make some extra money. I'm gonna have a car for you lot all day. It's the least I could do. Wait, what did you get an Irish accent? It's called in between script and buddy. You can't have episodes with the same voice actor. Oh, how we make it work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get off the line. Oh, screw you too, buddy. We'll see who has the shot the next time. Uh, Sam, we've been at this for three hours. You've drained that Coke machine twice. Hey, hey, I know, I know. Casting's a difficult process, man. I'm telling you. All right, sometime, at some point today, we're going to get a lead. And let me tell you, that lead's going to be gold. This is why you let the guys with seniority direct these things. We don't have this. Who's up next? Uh, hi, I'm Chuck from Accounting. Wait, haven't you been on YouTube before? Uh, uh kind of. Wait, you were that ghost in that series with absolutely no backstory on your character, weren't you? Shh, you're not supposed to hear about that, man. I'm trying to live a new life. Well, guess what, buddy? You're back in the limelight. Come on, you're hired. What's the pay? You get three weeks off and about two grand. All right, screw accounting. I'm done. I can save my soul after all. I'm not dying in accounting. See? I told you we'd find that lead. Oh, Chuck, watch that. Switch. Oh, man, that's the third time this week. <laughs> Talk about curse of the clutch field, eh? <laughs> hey, that's it. We can use that in the video. Perfect. You're using his poor misfortune as a way to gain money. Yeah, that's how YouTube works, don't you know? I can't argue that point, sadly. Uh, uh, my acting was horrible. What was I on at the time? Well, mine wasn't that bad, I don't think. Chuck, you had a cameo. No offense, buddy. You did the job, and you carried weight, but compared to the rest of us, you had nothing to worry about. Uh, fair enough. I'll take that. Uh, Sam, I'm blaming you for this. Why me? I couldn't foresee that the controller would get stuck behind a month, basically having to do this episode within a week before Halloween. That's really what happened, guys. Take note. Uh, still, we pulled it out, and if I'm not mistaken, this is one of his most popular videos on YouTube. Somehow. He does so much better stuff than this, I swear. Yeah. So what do we do now? Well... How about that two-week vacation, I promised. Aw, oh, sweet, man. Wait, what's that noise? <laughs> oh, 
God, no. Run, 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 run away, run away. Oh, what's up, Ferrari? Been a while, brah. I like trains. Oh, I know, little dude. I think we all like trains, or else we wouldn't be here. But then again, I am a train. Yeah, I do like myself. I'll agree. Oh, heads up! Ahoy, Paloy. I hope I didn't crash the party. <laughs> that pun was worse than the line from Caddyshack. Boom! Oh, scared you guys, didn't I? Alright, I've adopted this surfer voice because I've been at the beach for like two, three weeks, man. It's awesome. So here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to narrate this because my voice is horrible right now. I'm going to turn it over to the boss and explain what really went down with my character, man. You guys are in for an earful, but it's going to be cool. Alright, later, dudes. Alright, so here's the true story on how the 311 came to be and the supposed legends that followed. Before I get into that, we're going to rewind a few years back to the golden days of YouTube, early 2008, 2009, when I first joined. Now, a lot of you old-timers will remember this. There used to be a series known as the Railway Chronicles, and it was excellent first time. It had a lot of the big train guys on YouTube at the time. A lot of voice actors were in this, and it was a good trains series. It really was. I got inspiration from it, and I'm sure a lot of others did. Well, when it went by the wayside, the episodes would end up being deleted couple of months down the road, I ended up becoming friends with the creator of said series and talking to him. And this is right about the time where the ghost episode, or the reboot, came to be. Now, now, for those of you who don't remember, basically what happened was it was set on Highland Valley, and two of the locomotives go out one night and basically bump into this ghost. After talking to the creator of what inspired him to use certain engine, he just picked one. That's all there is to 311, guys. It could have easily been the 102 or the 123 or anything. The 311 was the locomotive chosen for this role. Wow, I can smell the fanfics burning from here. Ah, it's a good smell. Now, where do I come into all this? I first used 311 shortly after talking to said creator. He's like, okay, you can do what you want to. No big deal. All right, so I used a little creative freedom and put it in the Ghost Trains video, which somehow to this day is very popular as the famous ghost. That's it, guys. <laughs> I literally used him as a cameo twice, and people have found it popular since. The next time I would use the character is in a brief scene in the Conrail's Ghost episode with a very quick-fire backstory. I'm sure a lot of you were questioning right now. Yes, that is the truth. <laughs> 311 was merely picked as a filler engine. It wasn't given that much of a backstory, and somehow, I'm not sure how, a fandom developed around that. And while it's really cool you guys have done that, I'm just going to debunk a few of the mysteries. The engine was, at that, just picked. But As with anything, it's cool that you guys have been able to stretch it that far. Very surprising, and at least y'all are having fun with it. And now we're going to draw this short to a close. Thanks for allowing me to throw this little monologue in here, and thank you for watching. It has been many years since I bothered with Cajon Rails for the sheer fact. Motivation is low, and it's hard to edit these things without copyright infringement, since I would like to make a little money on the side from these, because you guys love them. I'm glad you enjoy them, but... In the grand scheme of things, they are hard to make. But with that said, thank you all for watching once more, and have a great day.